Welcome to the Center of Key and Yoga with Leia. In today's class, we're all about stretching through the front of the body, opening up the chest and the belly and the thighs. So let's get on our mats and get started. All right, so coming on our mats, we're gonna start lying down. So make sure you've got enough space around you to practice today. We're gonna to start by stretching the sides of the body first. So taking a breath in here, as you exhale, stretch your right arm away and push out through your right heel with the toes back and just feel the side of the body open. And then breathe in, bring your arm down. Exhale, we take the left arm above the head, push the left heel away, pull the toes back strongly. Good, hello Finch, you've come to join me. Take your breath in and bring the arm back. Exhale, take the right arm away, push out through your right heel. Really feel the side body open. You want to feel the ribs lift out of the waist and the armpit stretch. Breathe in, bring your arm down. And then exhale, take your left arm back. Push out through your left heel with the toes back. Make sure you're tucking your chin to your chest as well. One more each side, breath in. Exhale, let's do opposite arm and leg. So right arm and left leg stretching now. So opposite sides, and you're gonna feel that stretch through the middle of the body. Breathe in, bring the arm back. Exhale, take your left arm away, push out through your left heel, and again, feel that stretch through the middle of the body. One more each side on this opposite. Take a breath in. Exhale, right arm, left leg stretching away. Imagine someone's pulling you. Inhale back, last one. And then exhale, left arm and right leg extending away. Beautiful. And then coming all the way back. Let's bend the knees up. We're going to interlace the hands behind the head. So elbows are out wide. Flint, I might need you to move, buddy. Hey, take a breath in here. And as you exhale, squeeze your knees over to the right side. That's it, good. Inhale, come up to center. And then exhale, take your knees over to your left side. Now try to focus on the elbows pressing back to the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the right. Tuck the chin in, keep the knees together. Breathe into center. Exhale, go the other way. In through the nose, come up. Exhale through the mouth. Push the air out, squeeze the knees. One more breath in. And then exhale, taking it over. Lovely. All right, and coming back to the middle. I want you to step your feet apart. So feet are nice and wide, wider than your bottom. And grab your right ankle with your right hand and stretch your left arm above the head. And I want you to stretch right through, the, through to the fingertips. The ends of the fingernails are reaching back. Now chin is tucking in. We're just going to focus on this right leg. So take a breath in. As you exhale, drop the right knee in and down towards your left foot. So the knee comes in and down. Inhale, lift the knee up. Keep a hold of the ankle if you can. And exhale, knee dropping in and down. Now keep the other knee pointing up to the ceiling. Breathe in, lift the knee. Exhale, knee goes down. Keep stretching your left arm back more. Really feel the armpit open. Inhale up, there's three more. Exhale, knee goes down and try to get the knee to the floor. If it touches the floor, you can push it into the mat. Inhale up, exhale, knee goes down. Keeping hold of that ankle as much as you can. Inhale to lift, last one. And exhale, knee goes down, stretch the arm away more, tuck the chin to the chest. And then breathe in, coming up. Let's swap that around. So grab your left ankle now, stretch your right arm back, stretch right through the fingertips, and tuck your chin to your chest. Take a breath in, and breathing out, left knee dropping down towards your right foot. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, knee goes down, so feeling that stretch through the front, through the thigh. Inhale, up, and exhale, down, chin to the chest, arm lengthening. Three more, inhale, up, exhale, knee goes down. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Probably one more breath in, up, and then exhale, try to get the knee as close to the floor as you can, and then breathe in. Coming back, good, we're going to swap the arms around again. So take your right hand to your right ankle and stretch your left arm again above the head. Now the feet are still wider than your bottom, but just notice your feet. We want to turn the big toes in just a little bit. 
So the feet are pointing forwards. All right, so take a breath in there. And just exhale, see if you can lengthen the arm away a little bit further. And then breathing in, exhale, the hips lift now to the ceiling. So squeezing up off the floor. Inhale to the mat. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, we come down. And let's do eight faster. So one and back. Two, three, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Five, keep breathing. Six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. All right, gently down. So swap the arms back. So if you can't keep up, just do every second one until you get enough um, strength to be able to keep going. All right, so chin to chest, arm reaching, grab the ankle, toes turn in slightly, take a breath in. And just stay there, breathe out, lengthen that arm even further. Lovely, breath in. And exhale, squeeze those hips up, push down through the feet. Inhale to the mat. Exhale, squeezing up. Inhale down, let's do another eight. So one, two, big breathing, three. Inhale down, exhale, four, five, six, Seven, last one, and eight. Very nice. All right, coming down. Just let your legs go for a moment. Turn the palms up beside you in our rest pose. And just take a moment to feel the work you've done. So if you wanted to go a bit stronger, you could do another 10 on either side, or just try and hold both ankles at the same time and do another 10 like that if you wanted to go a bit stronger but we're gonna move on. So let's bring our knees to our chest, just gently hold here. So no forcing, no pressing, we're just holding. Holding, let the shoulders soften. Take a breath down into the belly. As you exhale, relax even more. All right, let's take another breath in. Now as you exhale, pull your head to your knees, just squeezing up, keep the shoulders soft. Breathe in, come back. Exhale, knee, head to knee, squeeze. Good, one more, breath in, down. And exhale, squeeze, and then rocking a couple of times along the spine. And we're gonna flip over onto the hands and the knees. So on all fours. Excellent, all right, so spread your fingers out. Have the knees hip width apart. Plug your arms down, take a breath in there. As you exhale, lift the back, tuck the head, squeeze the belly strongly, and then breathe into neutral spine. As you exhale, we look up to the ceiling, push through the hands, really feel the throat stretch as the back squeezes. Breathe in center, and exhale, draw the belly up, tuck the head under, squeeze it out. Breathe into the middle, and then exhale, look up to the ceiling, pushing into the hands, squeezing into the back. Lovely. Breathe in, centre. Last one here. And exhale, tucking up. Push down with your hands. Tuck the tailbone under. And then breathe in, coming back to the middle. Awesome. So we're going to open up the sides a little bit more and squeeze into the waist. So we just sit off to one side. So one leg is in front at an angle like that. And the back leg is turned with the foot pointing away, and we're sitting on the floor. And the hands are gonna interlace behind the head here. All right, so we try to lift up through the spine, so push down through your bottom to lift up. Take a breath in. Just hold it in for a moment. And then on the exhale, the outside elbows, all the elbows going to that outside foot. And we feel this side stretch and this side squeeze. Breathe in to come up, and we're going over to that side again. Breathing out, top elbow lifting, bottom elbow coming to that foot. Be careful, sometimes it creeps to that knee. We wanna pull it back. Inhale, come up, and exhale, going over. Each time, breathe out more, soften and relax into it. Inhale, we come up, let's do two more. Exhale, going over, top elbow lifting, Bottom elbow coming to that foot. 
Good, breathe in coming up, let's do one more. And exhale, just try and relax into it. Just enjoy that feel of feeling of the side squeezing and the other side stretching. Breathe out a little bit more. Good, and then inhale up to the middle. All right, so we're gonna let the arms go. I'm gonna take the legs to the other side, so flip them around. Okay, if you have trouble sitting in this position, you could possibly prop yourself up on a little cushion if, if you needed to. All right, so hands again interlaced, lifting up, so push down through the bottom to lift up. Take a breath in. And then exhale going over, elbow to the outside foot, top elbow lifting to the ceiling. Breathe in, coming up. And exhale, so it's quite a strong stretch. Can be quite challenging to feel that side open. Good, inhale, coming up. And exhale, just check that that elbow is going to the foot and not creeping forwards to the knee. Squeeze it back. Inhale, coming up, we don't wanna twist. And exhale, we just want to side to open, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. Lovely, one more, big breath in. And exhale, over. Just keep breathing out, keep softening into it. Relax more, breathe out a little bit more, going a little bit further. Lovely, and then coming all the way up. Very nice, all right, let your arms go. Give the shoulders a quick little roll. Excellent. All right, we're going to keep moving on. So we're going to stay on our knees, kneeling. Okay, and we're just going to stretch the arms and then we're going to stretch the front of the body. So I want you to take a breath in, take one arm up, and as you exhale, take it back to the floor behind you and plant it into the ground. And then breathe in, lift the other arm up, and exhale, take it back and down. All right, so inhale, take the arm up. Stretch and lift as if someone's pulling your wrist. And then exhale back down. One more big breath in. Stretch and lift. And then exhale back down. So we want to keep the hands on the floor behind us. Try and bring your knees a bit closer together. Look down towards your knees. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to try and squeeze your hips up and keep looking down towards your belly as you lift off the heels. Good. Inhale, come down. This is quite a strong stretch. And again, exhale, push with the hands, lift the hips, look down towards your belly. Good. Inhale, come back. Let's try two more. Exhale, lifting. Keep squeezing the hips up. Push them even higher. Breathe out more. Inhale, come back. Let's do one more. And exhale, squeeze, chin to the chest, looking down, push into the hands, feel the knees press into the ground. And then inhale, coming back, lovely. So we're gonna have a child's pose rest now. So curl forwards into a little ball, try and get the head to the mat, hands down by the feet. If you can't get the head down comfortably, bring one fist on top of the other and place your head on your fists. Any of those positions is good. I just want to try and relax. This is a rest pose. Take a couple of breaths there. We're going to work a little more strongly into the front of the body in a second with a variation of half of camel pose, a half camel pose variation. So let's curl ourselves up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. All right, so we've got an option here. If you are more flexible and you can hold your ankle and push your hips forward, you can hold the ankle. If perhaps you can't do that very well or you have to let go of the ankle to do that, you can place your hand on your lower back with the palm flat and the fingers pointing down and you can do the, this version where you use your hand on the back to drive the hips forward. Okay. But if you can, I'm going to do this side holding the ankle. I'll show you on this side. All right, so taking a breath in and then just breathe out, relax. All right, breath in again. And now exhale, pushing the hips forward. If you're holding the ankle, hold onto it. Otherwise, the hand is on the lower back. And you want to stretch this other arm and keep it next to the ear. And you're going to feel that 
stretch right through the front of the body. Inhale, come back to the floor. And again, exhale, drive those hips forward, stretch the arm. Don't let the head drop back, just keep the neck long. Inhale, coming back, let's do two more on this side. Exhale, hips moving forward, arm reaching back. Feel the body stretch. Inhale, down, last one. And exhale, hips moving forward, arm reaching back. Fingertips lengthening, always lengthening through those fingers. And then breathe in, coming down. Good, all right, let's swap sides. So either holding the ankle or put your hand on the back for support. Take a breath in and exhale, arm coming up. So if your hand is on the back, you're pushing the hand to stretch and open. Inhale, coming all the way down. And again, exhale. Otherwise, you're holding the ankle, driving those hips forward, arm coming next to your ear. Breathe in, coming down. And exhale, feel that opening, the squeezing in the back as well. Breathe in, come back, last one. And exhaling, opening, reaching with those fingertips. Lovely, and then gently coming all the way down. Let's come back onto the hands and knees. Take a breath in there. And exhale, lift the back up. Draw the belly in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now breathe in, look up to the ceiling. Hold the breath in, stretch the eyes as far as they can go. And then exhale, draw the back up again, tuck the chin in, look to your belly button. One more big breath in to look up. Hold it in, stretch the eyes, the throat, push into the hands. And then exhale, drawing up, squeeze and lift. Lovely. And then we just come back into child's pose. Curl up, let that soften. And now as you're curling here in child's pose, we can feel the back expanding after we've squeezed into it. So not only are we stretching the front, but we're also working the back. And these two, front and back body, work hand in hand. We need both to be strong and flexible. Okay, so we're going to continue that idea by swinging the arms out in front of us. Head is still on the floor, bottom still on the heels. And we're going to take a breath in and come onto the hands and knees. Now big toes are touching. And as you exhale now, drop the hips down, push into the hands, Roll the shoulders back, possibility of looking up, or just look straight ahead if you need to. And then breathe in, take it back, bottom to the heels. And as you exhale now, coming through, hips dropping. Notice where your shoulders are. We don't want them crunching and up near the ears. Press the arms down, roll the shoulders back, look forwards. And then inhale, take it back again. Big toes are touching. Exhale, drop those hips down, push into the hands, squeeze the shoulders back slightly, feel the sternum move forwards, try to look up if possible. And let's do one more. Inhale, take it back. And exhale, take it through. Push down, look up, lengthen the arms, stretch the belly. Lovely. And then Coming all the way back. Let's just rest in child's pose one more time. So we're going to do our cobra again in a moment and we're going to hold and breathe. So just stay here for another breath or two. Lovely, all right, so stretch the arms forward again. Hands the shoulder width. All right, so taking a breath in and exhale, we come through, drop those hips, big toes together. Now we're staying here and breathing. So let's just start by looking forwards if possible. Push down with those hands, squeeze the shoulders back. Then there's a possibility of maybe looking up. So we're breathing whilst we're here. 
And as you breathe in now, try and feel the front of the body, body stretch, the belly expanding. And as you exhale, see if the hips can press down more, the arms can lengthen more, maybe the head can look up more. And again, big breath in, feel it expand. Exhale, hips dropping, sternum moving forwards, head lifting. One more big breath in. And exhale, feel the whole spine squeeze and the front stretch. And then gently coming out of that, we're going to lie on our back. So walk the knees through, roll over, lie down. Whew. And just take a moment there. You've done really well. Notice now how you just feel front of the body really long, it feels really long and open. The back is contracting. We're going to stretch the back in a moment before we finish. But just feel that lovely stretch through the front. There's a whole lot more we could do. But this is just for today, just this little bit that we've done. So just enjoy the feeling you've created in your body as you breathe. Always important to take a little rest in between. A lot of there's a lot of different styles of yoga. Some there's lots of movement. We flow from pose to pose to pose, and then we rest for longer at the end. With this type of yoga therapy that we're doing, we rest intermittently in between different poses, different sections. So we don't need to rest necessarily as long at the end. But you're more than welcome to stay another five or ten minutes on your back resting. But to finish up, we're just going to bring the knees to the chest and just hold again for a moment. Let the shoulders relax. Feel the lower back lengthen. Breathe down into your belly. As you exhale, let it soften. Beautiful. All right, so taking a breath in, exhale, lifting the head to the knees, keep the shoulders soft, inhale, come back, exhale, squeezing up, inhale, back, one more, and exhale, lifting, and let's rock a couple of times, give the spine a little massage, and then up to sitting. To finish, sitting however is comfortable, hands can rest in your lap, eyes can close and just feel the results of your efforts in this short little class. Breathe down into your belly and let's breathe in, arms rising up, exhale down, inhale to rise. Exhale down, one more big breath in, hands draw down to the chest in prayer pose and just soften there, tuck the chin in, relax the shoulders, palms gently touching and sending some love and gratitude into your body, to the front that we've stretched and opened, into the back that we've squeezed and just saying thank you to yourself for your efforts in coming to the mat today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Thank you.